Lately, there's been an unusual group of symptoms that have been showing up all over the country. And uh, it's usually some combination of brain fog, anxiety, uh, pressure, or ringing in the ears, some degree of imbalance and dizziness or vertigo, uh, often associated with headaches. Now, what makes it unusual is these are all like head and neck type of symptoms, but it's also often associated with some sort of digestive upset, like heartburn or reflux, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, constipation, or even nausea. Now, if you suffer from this, please comment below. Let us know. We're trying to find out where this is at, why this is so rampant all across the country. Uh, like it, share it, please, so we can try to get some numbers on this thing. Uh, and then I'll be happy to try to give you my take on what I believe is going on. So I believe it has something to do with the brainstem. Okay, there's one area at the top of the neck where the brainstem comes out. And the brainstem, right around the brainstem, you've got all these blood vessels and nerves that come through there. And if one of those bones get even a little bit out of a line, you don't even have to have neck pain, but it can do two, it can do three different things. It can put pressure on the brainstem. That can affect the nerve supply from your brain to body and affect just about any system in the body. But it can also cause venous congestion, which means it can interfere with normal blood flow to and from the brain so that the blood can get congested, get backed up. And so you know, the brain doesn't get proper blood flow. It doesn't work like it's designed, right? That can affect anxiety. It can affect headaches. It can affect uh, a lot of the head, face, and neck stuff. And then also the cerebral spinal fluid uh, is a fluid that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord, and it's constantly got to circulate. It's cleaning out all the good, the bad particles and pushing everything out and keeps everything uh, lubricated so that things move properly well. If one of the bones gets even a little bit misaligned, kind of like twisting a bread bag, it can actually close off or interfere with that normal cerebral spinal fluid flow, which again can create pressure in the head, pressure in the ears, headaches, etc. Now, also up in that very top of the neck, there's a nerve that comes out up there. It's called the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is the rest digest nerve, okay? Which means it calms the body down, which can affect things like anxiety, depression, but it also controls digestion and regulates digestion and keeps things working smoothly. So if a bone gets even a little out of position there and interferes with how that vagus nerve supplies information to the stomach, your colon, your small intestine, it teaching it or showing it exactly what to do and how to do it, then things just don't get the proper message so they can't work the way they're properly designed. So a wider range of digestive issues can show up. So we've had quite a few patients with this unusual grouping and we have found that the commonality between them is something going on at the top of the neck. So if you have this, uh, please like it, comment, share it. Let's try to see who else has got this same problem going on. Uh, and if you live in the Charlotte area, I'd be happy to allow you to come in and check to see if maybe there is something going on at the top of your neck that could be affecting and creating this, this group of symptoms. Uh, if you don't live in the Charlotte area, comment, let me know where you're at, and we will do our best to try to find uh, an upper cervical doctor near you. If you do live in Charlotte, just call our office, 704-588-5560. We'd be happy to uh, get you in to find out exactly what's going on, what's causing your problem. Uh, otherwise, we wish you the best of luck, and, and again, please like and share. Uh, let's get the word out there, and let's see what we can do to help these people. Thank you.